Uh, Patrick, obviously getting very close to the Cheltenham Festival now. Exciting times here in Cly Sutton. How would you sum up uh, your father's team as a whole? I think we're a lot of strength and depth this year. Um, you know, I think we have a good, as usual, we have a good team on the first day, which is very important. Getting a win on the first day just really relieves the pressure. So, you know, you'd like to get a bird. Uh, footpad, Faheen and Champion Hurdle and uh, Laurina and a few others in the Mayor's Hurdle so getting a winner on the first day is going to be very important. And everybody wants to know how Duvan is, it sounds as though he will run in uh, the Champion Chase, what's your instinct with Duvan, how do you think he is? Holly Conti who rides him every day is delighted with him, um, he did a fantastic bit of work on the Saturday of the Red Mills, um, the day we didn't run him we just thought it was probably too close, uh, we just said the cards we've been dealt the way this season has gone, we said we go straight to Chetlam. Um, it's not ideal, it sets him quite a formidable task. But if any horse can do it, uh, Duvan can. And we're happy that he, his work is good. So we'll press a few more buttons next week. And if he comes through those tests, um, we'll let him take his chance. If you had the decision and you could ride either Min or Duvan in the champion chase, who would you ride? There's no there's no question you ride Duvan. I mean, I think he's, he's the horse of a lifetime. And... Uh, it's after what happened last, you know, when he got injured in the in the champion chase, we really need we really need to go back and and get a, a top level win at the Cheltenham Festival with him. Might we never see the real Fahi in the machine again? Uh, I still I still have faith. Um, you know, his work here is very good. Um, I actually rode myself a couple of days ago and he felt great. And you know, I can't understand his last two runs. We're kind of scratching our head. The only thing is that February's run was so much better than Christmas's run. Um, and if you look at his first run of the season in Morgana, that looked like the Faheen of old. So I haven't lost faith in him just yet. And your father has, a, certainly numerically, he's a very strong hand in the, the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Looks like you'll probably get a ride in the race. But if you're given the choice of riding any of them, which would you ride? <laughs> it's uh, it's hard, uh, you know, but I think we have a good team. Kalulta Vic obviously lacks a bit of experience. Um, but I think Coney Gree and Dawn Run had very little experience too, so it's not impossible. We know the engine's there after what we saw in Leperstown. Total Recall is obviously the improver, and he'll stay very well. You know, he's, he'll jump. He handles those big handicap chases. Um, Bakistan is going under the radar a little bit. He's a far superior chaser than he was a hurdler. And, you know, I know he's won down the country, but he's won very impressively. And then, obviously, last but not least, Jack Adam. He's had his, his few chances there, but the fellow was the same. I think he won it in his fourth try or third try. Um, and he came back to form a bit of February. And we might just ride him a little differently this year. And you're due another success in the champion bumper. It's a couple of years gone by now since you've won it. Um, what are you likely to be on this year? Um, well, next week will tell a lot. We'll, we'll work We'll work them next week and, like I said, press a few buttons. Um, whatever Willie, I usually just go with whatever Willie tells me. He's not usually not too far wrong. I think Black Bow put in the best performance. Um, you know, the race in Leperstown, I thought, was a strongly run race and he won very well. He was idling at the finish. Holographic, though, is a horse that I've always loved. Um, he had a great run in Punchdown last season and he won very easily in Punchdown at the start of this season. Um, he's a horse for, he's a fine big horse to be a horse for chasing in the future. Uh, carefully selected one yesterday. He's a bit of an enigma. He doesn't show very much at home and he's a horse that wouldn't look out of place in a hunting field. Um, but on the track, he's a different beast. And Tornado Flyer is a horse that I think is going to be overpriced. He only just won in Fairy House, but he was too keen all the way and still beat a horse of Gordon Ellis that won impressively next time. And I think of all the horses, he's the one who's going to improve most for his run. So um, there's four four live chances there. And the best way to start a festival is with a Willie Mullins train favourite, owned by Rich Ritchie and ridden by Ruby Waltz. Will it be a winner this year in Gettabird? Well, he hasn't been beaten yet. Um, he gave me a fabulous feel in in Punchestown. Um, he's not, he, you know, he's obviously difficult to train. He missed Cheltenham last year, so we keep the lid on him a bit at home, which is probably why we were all a bit surprised at the turn of foot he showed at the back of the last, because we don't, ask him so much at home just to keep him one piece um, you know the drying ground is a question mark there's no reason he won't go on it but it just is a question mark um, and you know it looks it looks a race that maybe is missing a star this year so uh, he's in fantastic form Sonny Kerry rides him out and he's very bullish and finally what is the Patrick Mullins banker of Cheltenham 2018 uh, I think footpad would be very hard to beat um, I think he jumps fantastically I haven't seen a novice just be so professional and I know it looks a very good race but our fellow is just below top class as a champion hurdler and I think chasing has brought about enough improvement in him to make him properly top class of offences.